Hello, thank you for choosing Pacific Northwest Tax Service. I just wanted to show you a little bit about how our client portal login system works. We utilize a third party provider that uh, houses a platform called Secure File Pro. And Secure File Pro allows us and our clients to exchange confidential tax documents in a secure environment. Identity thieves are out there to try and steal identity. They deliberately target tax services like ours because we have so much confidential information for our clients. And so we utilize Secure File Pro to help us and our clients keep data safe. Now, to begin with, if you want to exchange data with our firm over the internet, we will need to create your login portal for you. It's not something you can self-create. We must initiate that for you. So please do talk with our staff about getting your portal set up. Once we have created the portal, you will receive an email. So go to your email and check your inbox and you should be looking for an email that comes from no reply at securefilepro.com and the subject will be you have a new Pacific Northwest Tax Service portal. And inside that email, there will be instructions with pictures on what to do. Now, lots of people find videos a little bit easier to understand, and that's why we've created this video for you. And your starting point when you set up your portal will be to click on the link that you receive in the email, and that link will take you to the logon page. And the logon page will look like this. Your first chore will be to enter the last four digits of your social security number. And in most cases, those digits will be the last four digits of the primary social security number on the tax return. The primary social security number is the social security number of the person whose name appears first on the tax return. So you will enter the last four digits. And in this case, we created a portal with the last four digits of 000, but of course you will use your own. So you will enter the last four digits of your social, and then you must create a complex password for yourself. Right here, you can see what those password requirements are. A minimum of eight characters with at least one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one number at one special character, and no spaces. So create your password using those parameters. And right here, I can show you what I created, a password that meets all those parameters. It's got a special character, a special character, then three before lowercase characters, an uppercase character, a number, which is a zero, and then two more lowercase characters. Uh, so it meets the parameter of having all of the special types of characters. And now I just need to type that password a second time, verify that I've done it twice the same way, and then I submit. Once I've created it, now it's time to log in. I've typed my password, now I log in. So now that I'm in the portal, I can upload and download documents that I receive from my preparer, and I will go to the Documents to Prepare link if I want to load a document for my preparer. And if I want to upload a document, I simply go to the Upload link, and I look for a file in my computer, and I'm just going to pick this 1098T document here, and then I say Upload, and I have to select a preparer to send it to. So in this case, I'll send it to April, and I upload the document. And now the document is in there. And my preparer will receive an email saying, hey, you've got a document. The preparer will then be able to go and download that document and read it. And just to show you how it worked, I'm going to show you what this 1098T looks like. And this was a blank form. There's nothing on it that you need to worry about. But it's just to demonstrate that once I uploaded that document, I was able to access it and download it. And when your tax preparer gives you documents, your tax preparer will load those documents into the folder called Documents from Tax Preparer. So you would go to that file to look for any documents that your tax preparer may have uploaded for you. And you'll, of course, download those documents in the same way you just saw me download this document that was uploaded in the To Preparer box. Now, whenever our staff loads copies of our clients' tax returns into our portal, we do lock those with a second password. And that password will be the last four digits of the primary social security number. So sometimes clients do get confused because they uh, aren't sure what password to use. So remember, when you first go to the portal to log in, you will be asked to enter the last four digits of your social. And then you will create your own complex password which I just showed you how to do. After that, every time you go to the portal, you will enter the portal using the password that you created. 
But if you click on a copy of a document loaded by our staff and that document is locked and asks for a password, the password to enter will again be the last four digits of the primary social. Now, if you want to return to the portal, there is a couple of ways that you can do this. Firstly, when you're on the landing page of our website, simply look up to the top right corner and there you will see the link, Client Portal Login. If you have a handheld device, this particular link isn't shown. You can't see it. So instead, you can go to the Services tab and click on that link and there is the Client Portal Login for you. Also on this drop-down menu, you can see we have a link to see the login instructions. And from that login instructions, you can click on the link and again, that will take you to the portal. So I hope this helps you utilize the Secure File Pro system as easily as possible. If you have any questions about how to use it, please ask your tax preparer. Thank you.